Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have a travel subscription that has been sent to me for review, but it has changed names since the last time I reviewed it here on the channel. So it used to be called Travel Date Night, which I thought was a really cute idea. And now it is called Take Me With You, which is still a really cute idea. So this box is $44 per box, but it is a bi-monthly subscription, which you know we love here because it really gives you a little bit of time to recover budget-wise, but also to enjoy all of the products, enjoy the journey that they send in this box every other month. I do have a code for you. It's super simple. It's just Noel 5 and that'll save you $5. As always, I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below, along with all kinds of other information like a link to the Nobot Nook, a link to the secret password giveaways form, a link Link to all kinds of other discounts and deals so you always want to check that out if you have a chance let's go ahead though and get into this one and in the meantime I will read to you what this box is all about based on their website which again has been revamped with the name change it is your box comes packed to the brim with everything you need for a unique destination adventure at home delivered right to your door explore play and connect while you create lasting memories together so now it doesn't have to just be a date night right it can be something that you enjoy with the whole family or just a girlfriend it says discover surprising destinations sample popular snacks learn about the world in an exciting new way out of the box travel at home adventures to delight all of the senses so they always include their in-flight magazine right because it's gonna tell us a little bit about the destination snack service so you know we love edible treats especially if they're coming from that destination unique activities and they do have I believe a Facebook community all right so inside there's a QR code for a Spotify playlist, and we are going to a Mexico City. Now, I really love when boxes, specifically travel boxes, do specific cities or regions instead of entire countries because sometimes there are a lot of different cultures and a lot of different vibrant cities to cover in one single country, right? So it's really hard, I think, for a box to really get the flavor right. So I think it's really nice when they do kind of hone in on one location. So it says, welcome to Mexico City. We've got our monthly magazine, our activity supplies. Ooh, there's a cool item, you guys, which I'm not gonna show you. Some Mexican candy and of course a passport stamp. So you do get a passport the first time around. Mine was actually missing, I think, from the first box that I got and then they include little passport stamps for you along the way, which is really great because even with your real passport these days, you don't always get a stamp. So I was really excited on my last trip to Ecuador that we got stamps both on our way in and on our way out. We got the, the entry and the exit stamps. So this is what it looks like, nice and bright orange. Don't read too closely because I want the uh, other items to be a surprise for you. But there is a nice little letter. This is put together by a couple that travels. In fact, they were kind of helping me helping me out with this uh, latest unboxing while they were on an adventure in Japan. So I'm guessing that Japan will be one of the upcoming destinations. So be on the lookout for that. So let me just take a look at this letter. So it says, Bienvenida a Ciudad de Mexico. So I have had the opportunity to go to Mexico City a few years ago. I got to go for a girlfriend's wedding and it was fantastic. I stayed in the Condesa area, absolutely loved it says you may have noticed things look a little different in our corner of the world we've changed our name to better reflect what we love and strive to do with every box take you with us on our travel adventures the name specifically comes from the statement we hear every time we're chatting with friends about what trips we have planned next they'll say take me with you can i fit in your suitcase and i hear that a lot because i am lucky enough to travel quite a bit and yes people say that all the time will i fit in your suitcase and usually i'm like i'm only taking a carry-on so no <laughs> it says and while we love to have you physically join us on a future adventure it's just not always possible so the take me with you box will satisfy that travel craving this month we're thrilled to explore a slice of mexico city that you may not be familiar with and hopefully we'll debunk a few myths that you may have about this bustling metropolis along the way in in this box, we invite you to celebrate Dia de los Muertos with us as we learn the history and traditions behind those painted skeleton faces we see around this time of year. So this box is currently sold out. I think this may have been the October box and then they shipped it a little bit late because they might have been waiting on something. 
or actually I think they might have shipped it a little bit early so I'm curious I feel like this might actually be the November box I think they shipped it early because they knew that they were going to be traveling but it does say that they're gathering a wait list for our Christmas around the world box so that must be the December box so I'm a little confused I'm just not sure exactly which month this is for it says to join the wait list and be the first to hear when this limited edition box is available oh okay so I think that it's a special limited edition box so this may be the November box and then they'll have a January box and then the uh, Christmas around the world one might be a one-time purchase but what a great gift to someone especially someone who loves to travel or who wants to travel and is unable to actually get on a plane and go somewhere so it says thank you for our support and interest I will put the uh, wait list link in the description box below for you guys as well but I'm sure you'll be able to find it on their website if you poke around too at least I will do that much so here we have like kind of a nice information card of course it tells us that it is the uh, peso um not the peso but the peso um a population of nine million and so it's showing us well they're showing us all of mexico and then here's mexico city there in the center i'll actually be traveling to mexico very very soon not mexico city but pretty close and hopefully i'll bring you guys along with me on my adventures over on my personal instagram i don't usually post uh travel stuff over on my uh, Instagram for this channel, but I would love it if you wanted to follow me there too. All right, and on the back, we have some information about our Mexican candy, and they do have a QR code to tell us a little bit more about it. And then, of course, they have some more QR codes to uh, join their Facebook group or to give feedback to the box. So I'm going to put that up there. They also put the Spotify playlist there as well. So I'm trying to see where, oh, let's see here. I think I'm trying to find our magazine. All right, the next thing I see is information about it says Dia de Muertos but I've always heard it as Dia de los Muertos so I'm not sure if that article is missing or if you can say it either way but of course it's all the beautiful papel picado and the skeletons and really celebrating your ancestors and relatives so it says the Day of the Dead or Dia de los Muertos is a holiday that traces its earliest roots to the Aztec people in what is now central Mexico what became at what began as ceremonies practiced by the ancient Aztecs evolved into a holiday recognized far beyond the borders of Mexico where families honor dead loved ones and make peace with the eventuality of death by treating it as a celebratory familiarity instead of with dread terror and darkness often misconstrued for Mexican Halloween we hope that this activity will give you a better understanding of this wonderfully colorful and joyous tradition so maybe this was the October box because Dia de los Muertos is generally uh November 1st or 2nd although like I think in Ecuador where I just was they were celebrating and it was on the second instead of the first which I think of as All Saints Days and Dia de los Muertos but maybe it's celebrated for several days so then they tell us all of this information and about assembling an ofrenda which of course is your altar to honor your those who have gone on before you in your family and if you've watched Coco of course you learn all about the ofrenda um, and I got to do a make my own ofrenda and do a little art piece in a past trove box which is no longer so um, but that was really fun as well so that's kind of a cool thing so it says you can build it choose a loved one to honor with like a framed picture or an art piece of course you gather some personal objects that meant something to them marigolds and butterflies of course white candles papel picado which is the perforated or like it's kind of like snowflakes but a lot of the times there's actual scenes and they're those colorful squares of paper with like cutouts and some of them are really intricate and gorgeous uh, let's see sugar skulls of course folk art pieces and then share your story so there is a QR code for how to create an ofrenda as well some of them are very elaborate and it's not just to like one loved one but like many generations and they're they're really beautiful actually even here in my neighborhood you know we live very close to Mexico so there's a lot of Mexicans that live here in San Diego and I saw a bunch of ofrendas some people had them in front of their businesses which I thought was really 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 pretty so Oh, there's even a diagram if you're more of a visual learner. The ofrenda is an intricate creation with incredible symbolism as each element carries specific meaning. Here are common elements used and what they mean. So they tell you all about it on this nice little like infographic, little poster. And then it says Dia de los Muertos versus All Hallows Eve. Again, I keep putting the los in there even though they don't have it on here. So forgive me if I'm getting it wrong. Um, so they're telling us that like, you know, Dia de los Muertos originated in Mexico. All Hallows Eve originated in Ireland. Um, one is, you know, to celebrate deceased loved ones. One is a fun festival, how to celebrate, and then how, if, whether or not it's religious. So that's kind of a cool infographic too that I'm trying to show you, but I can't. 
So you can see how this would be not just fun date night. Maybe you like watch a movie that's like by a Mexican director that takes place in Mexico or even Dia de los Muertos like time period. Um, but you could also do it with your family and you could watch Coco and you could learn about this and uh, learn about your relatives that have gone on before you, which I think would be really fun. I'm trying to find out if we, I don't see like the magazine that they usually include in here. Like the last time we got a magazine, it was like pretty hefty, but maybe they're just doing like these individual inserts this time. But I'm what I'm not seeing is like a list of all of the items that we got. So this is a cool activity. Mine got kind of mushed, but you do have the opportunity to make your own papel picado. So they gave us this very light um, tissue paper, which is a little bit tricky. And they did include the string, of course, to hang everything up. So here we have all of our little pieces of tissue paper. Now usually I would do it with something a little bit bigger. If you have a cutting mat and you can do it with um, an X-Acto knife, you can be a little bit more precise. But then you can just, because um, I did this once before with some kids when I was teaching a world cultures class, we did it on a slightly um, more fibrous paper, but then I just kind of rolled it over the top and stapled it. So you could definitely do it this way, although it would usually be more in the horizontal format. So we do have information about the papel picado. So you can kind of see they have like these different like folded sheets to tell us about the different uh, cultural um, tidbits that they're giving us. So papel picado in early Mexico, Aztec people chiseled spirit figures into bark. They used mulberry and fig tree bark to make a rough paper called a matl. This custom evolved later into the art form now known as papel picado or like pierced paper essentially. Um, so it tells you... Uh, required time, 30 to 60 minutes. It's for all ages. The Dia de los Muertos uh, ofrenda takes probably over an hour. And then it tells us all about it as well as how to create your own. And then there are some fun videos as well. So I kind of like this format where you can take the individual, individual items out. So this looks to be just a nice little fabric with some sugar skulls on it, like a handkerchief. So it's yeah, it kind of looks like a napkin. I almost wish we got two of them because you could make a fun, festive, like Mexican meal out of it. But yeah, it's kind of got the texture, the weight of a napkin. It does say it's handmade in India. But yeah, it feels like a napkin to me more than a handkerchief because like you wouldn't be able to like tie your hair up with this because it's a little bit thicker. Let's see. Oh, we got some pretty butterflies, some like craft butterflies to put on your ofrenda. So they included that as well. What else did they include? Oh, we got some um, fabric marigolds as well. If you don't have marigolds in in your uh, in your city, here you guys. Here is our nice magazine. Of course, it was at the bottom so that it didn't get too mushed. So let me go ahead and open this up. But you can see how this is really a joyful adventure. Oh, they brought they gave me the passport this time. So this is what the passport looks like. So this is great because now I don't need a new one that says uh, take me with you box on the front. Fasten your seatbelts, return your tray tables and seat backs to their upright position. We're going on an adventure. Use this passport to track where you've been um, and help you remember. So this is kind of cute. You can put your identification in there. Um, I, this definitely feels like a family event and then they have like little stickers to kind of decorate everything uh, to kind of make the pages more embellished and then somewhere in here there will be a sticker that's kind of fun that they already put some stuff in there so they definitely made this like on their own to add inside but it's pretty darn cute and it does look like a, a passport. And then somewhere in here there's probably a sticker for me to put Mexico in there. I have I don't see it but that doesn't mean it's not in here it's probably hiding. There it is. So here is our Mexico stamp to add to the passport. So such a cool thing to do, right, as you get successive boxes. And then here is our Mexico City um, magazine. And again, it's going to have a bunch of different QR codes to tell us about it. Let me just go over the table of contents with you. Lots of beautiful full color pictures. Mexico City by the numbers, how it's a diverse destination, trip planning tips, cities to explore, Aztec traditions in the kitchen, so probably some recipes, fantastic beasts, which I be believe has to do with alebrije and saving money on your trip. So 
by the numbers. They have like an editor's note. This really does feel like a little mini magazine with some like nice articles to read. Of course, I won't read all of them. And then there's that travel element because they are avid travelers in the travel industry um, as well. So planning your trip, when to visit. So I believe that's Teotihuacan. Definitely want to go to that. Uh, definitely want to go to the Frida Kahlo Museum, which is beautiful. I got some of the best churros I've ever had just outside of the Frida Kahlo, uh, Frida Kahlo Museum, which that's a little typo there. I was like, who's that? <laughs> uh, Mexico in the kitchen. Oh, let's make tamales with some very in-depth instructions. So you have to get that masa. I just have found that uh, making homemade tortillas makes a huge difference when it comes to Taco Tuesday because I learned how to do that again from a trove box that did Mexico. And um, when I take the time to just do that, I need to get a tortilla press because you know, when I do it by hand and actually like do the hand tortillas and use like a bowl to press it down, plenty plenty of time to make enough for me and my husband but I would like the nice clean edges so I'm gonna have to get a tortilla press one of these days but yes it is talking about the Alebrie and then here are the founders of the box right here Garrett and Mandy and they are connected family travel so let me just get a quick sip of water <clears throat> still getting over a little bit of a cold you guys and then let's see what we have in here and then oh they even included some tea lights for you to make your ofrenda. So we got the butterflies, the marigolds, we got the candles, and then here are some of our delicious candies. So let's see what we got. <coughs> we got revolcaditas, revolcaditas, which is uh, wake up your taste buds with these mango flavored chili covered hard candies. That sounds delicious. They do love mango and chili. I love chili on anything, like tahine on anything. And then Rica Nuez, which says, indulge your palate with these soft, delicious caramels. Oh, those look really good. It's like Tootsie Rolls, but caramel. So I love that they gave us these nice little packages of candy, which again, great for the whole family, but also great for date night or just uh, making some margaritas and enjoying with your Spotify playlist playing in the background. So I guess you could use that... Um, skull sugar skull thing as like a little tea towel to like set up your ofrenda if you wanted to so here we go maybe that's what they meant it for more so than a napkin i don't know what this is so i'm curious to see ah we got a little uh wooden alebrie oh mine is broken what a bummer but i should be able to glue him back on so oh i think his tail just goes inside let's see so here's his little tail maybe it comes apart anyway so here's my little, it looks like a dog to me, I'm not sure, but the tail is not a part of it. So I think the tail might go, there is a hole there, but I don't think, this is like way too big. So I either, I either can stick it the other way, which kind of looks kind of goofy, or I can uh, see if I can glue that back on there. But I'm pretty sure that's where it goes. I'm not totally sure, but I'm guessing that's where the tail goes. Huh. Let me know if any of you guys got this, but I think maybe they took it apart ahead of time so that the tail wouldn't come apart. Maybe it does go inside that way because it's not really painted that way. Huh, Is that seems kind of weird, you guys. I don't know. I just think Alebria is so, so beautiful because they really hand paint them. And then let's see what other items we got inside. So we did get a hand carved Alebria. We got two items in these little um, pouches that were all wrapped up. I just have to figure out how to put his little tail on. But it doesn't seem like the thicker end, the purple end, it doesn't seem like that goes into the hole easily. What are these? Oh, we got some little sugar skulls. So there's one little guy. And then we also got another one, it looks like. So that's super cute. And again, you can put these on your ofrenda or just have them on your bookshelf. We actually really like these. These are like matching ones. How cute are those? So again, I don't know that there's a list. I would love to see a list of the items that are in the box. It might be somewhere in the magazine. So, so you know that you got everything. So we got all kinds of stuff. Lots of little things that you can use to make your ofrenda or just kind of have as little um, decorative items if you don't mind. And of course, this was a great box if you got it in the month of October because we do uh, celebrate Halloween as well, even though it's slightly different origins. But let's see. I don't see, I don't think it's in the magazine. So um, we got our candies, which is great. Two different kinds, several, so you can try a few of them. We got a whole bunch of things for our ofrenda, our butterflies, marigolds, candles, the little 
um, sugar skulls, uh, maybe the tea towel with sugar skulls if you want to use that. And then we also got another activity, our papel picado to do. Uh, and they'll tell you all about that in the QR code videos. We got our little hand carved and hand painted alebrije, which I think his tail looks okay that way. I think that's kind of cool, your little spirit animal, um, little spirit guardian guide. And then of course we got our passport and the uh, pretty extensive mini magazine to learn all about Mexico City. So I think this is a really fun travel box. I appreciate that they do a little bit of a food element, but that's not really the focus of it. They really try to focus on a cultural experience and activity that you can do that gets you off of your screens, even though there is a digital way of engaging as well and watching a bunch of videos and learning a little bit more about it. So I think they're doing a really good job with this and I look forward to reviewing more boxes. You guys let me know if you've had the opportunity to visit Mexico or Mexico City, which is really more about the culture than like the beaches and what we sometimes think about when we think about a Mexican vacation and uh, what you thought about this box and how it's really focused on activities. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please help me out with a thumbs up and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.